Hello and welcome to A Chip Off the Old Block Toys. I'm Jeff and today we've got the review, an exciting review of set number 76924 and that is the Mercedes AMG G63 sometimes called the wagon and then we've got the Mercedes AMG SL63. Now why do I say it's exciting because today we're just reviewing these two and then over the next couple days I'll review the other two Speed Champion sets that came out on July the 1st and then we're going to do a fourth video with all of them together compare them side by side so be looking out for that and while you're looking out for that be looking out for the 808 pieces and the two minifigures this comes with and it retails for $44.99 and if you would hit that like button subscribe turn on all notifications and leave me a comment below and don't forget these videos are now Enzo approved <laughs> All right, for those who have not seen a video of mine before, this is what I do. First, I tell you the dimensions. In this case, we've got two sets of dimensions to give you. And then I'll tell you about the minifigures and anything about them, like, like whether they're unique, uh, whether they're in the of sets, that kind of stuff. We'll tell you a little bit about them. Then we'll go ahead and from zero to 10, I tell you what I think of the set. And I go off of value, zero to 10, creativity, zero to 10, playability, zero to 10, ease of build, zero to 10, and then part out value, zero to 10. And then I give you six, ranking of the overall and that is where i average those five those five scores i just told you and that's the overall ranking all right let's go ahead and let's jump into this review well let's start off with the dimensions of the g63 this right here i love it the dimensions are seven and a half inches that includes the spare tire of the front bumper three and a half inches wide and three inches tall this one here is six and a half inches, a little shorter, three inches by two inches tall. And don't forget, I did not forget my friends in the metric system. That means on this one, it's 19 centimeters by nine centimeters wide by seven and a half centimeters tall. This one's 16 and a half centimeters by seven and a half centimeters by five centimeters tall. And as far as the minifigures, there's only two in this set. I checked, I can't find any information. The inventory is still pending in BrickLink. BrickSet has nothing about it. So uh, I, all I can tell you is it comes with two people and here they are, they're right in this car. And let's jump into the value. In the past, I have docked a point for stickers. I've come to the conclusion that it's not really fair for the speed champions because there's a lot of different printed pieces and I think that would be very costly to Lego and so the value would actually go down if they didn't do stickers in this case. So there are nine stickers for the wagon and there are 11 here so a total of 20. But you're getting 808 pieces at $44.99 and that's 5.6 cents per piece. That is a phenomenal value so I'm going to give the value a 10. Now as far as creativity if you look at this and you look at it closely first of all I love the fact that they gave it a white interior. I looked at pictures online and I did find some with tan interior, some with a white interior. Anyways, it looks really awesome to have a white interior on a black vehicle. Looks super awesome. I love the fact that they have these little antennas as windshield wipers. That's cool. I love the emblem. I love the, where the license plate would go. Love these mirrors. And also the G-Wagon has the double exhaust on the bottom of each side and the window placements here is very close to the real one and i love the spare tire on the back that's a very nice touch and you know they also did uh stickers for the brake light that's pretty cool so anyway overall i really do like this one um they did get the hood right too with the lines i mean it's the best they can do with lego and since lego they're trying to rebuild the world with it i think it's awesome and the car better known as the SL63. I like it as well. I love the stickers. They do capture the headlights, how they look like. And yes, I did look at pictures. And oh, see, look at that. I'm uh, tearing things up. But anyway, I love how the hood opens. And then I like also how uh, the lines on it. I like the rear view mirrors. Um, I love the back here, how it's convertible and how they did that. Looks really awesome. The brake lights look accurate. It looks pretty cool. So overall, the creativity, I see nothing but a solid 10. And playability is a solid 10 for the same reason as the other two. I mean, you got two cars you can play with on this. You can put it in your city, and now your minifigures are riding around in style, which is awesome. Ease of build. Now, this one 
came with two booklets, one for each car, which is pretty normal with these. And there is 149 steps with the, the uh, G63, and there are 88 steps with the SL63 for a total of 237 steps. That's a little bit less than four pieces per step. That isn't very hard. So, and there wasn't really any part of it that I could remember that I was like, oh my goodness, I can't believe I can't see this. It was very, actually a pretty easy build. So I'm gonna give it a part out, or a ease of build as, as an eight, meaning it's pretty easy. Now, part out value, I'm going to give it similar. I'm going to give it an 8. There are some wedge pieces here that I'm not really sure what I would do with it, but the fact that the fenders on this one are not one piece does allow a lot to part out, even more than the normal car. And these tires aren't too bad. These are standard tires on both of these that would, I think, work pretty well some, somewhere else. And yes, I meant to do that. But anyways, a part out value is an 8 in my opinion. And if you average everything out, it's a 9.2, which is one of the highest scores I've ever given out to any of the sets that I've ever reviewed. If you've enjoyed my video, please hit the like button. Subscribe. If you've ever thought about subscribing, please subscribe. Leave me a comment below. Tell me whether you've got this one. Tell me whether you agree with my review. Tell me why you agree with it or why you disagree with it. I'd love to hear your opinion. Also, turn on all notifications. That way you'll know whenever I put out a live stream or a video, which I'm doing about almost every day again so if you want to hear from me and want to know what i'm doing turn on those notifications if you want to help the channel here's four ways first way is to make a donation directly there's a paypal link in the description you can head over to my bricklink store we have about 800,000 pieces and we have several sets if you want to buy from me there's a link in the description that is a great way because it helps you work on your collection it helps me work on my collection so we're helping each other so it's great and i use everything to go back into the channel to build the channel and also to help the shop too. Eventually I want to have air conditioning in there because it's stinking hot out there. But anyway, if you want to help me out, head over there. If you don't have the financial means, it's totally okay. I understand there's two other ways. And the first way is to be my marketing department. How do you do that? You share a link to one of my videos and on other social media platforms that you know you find Lego fans on. You do that, that helps. I don't have the time, don't have the money for that. And the other thing you can do is just watch another video right after this. If you do that, the algorithm, it loves it, and it signals it to push it out to more people. All right, guys, be good to each other, stay safe out there, and I'll catch you on the next one.